Hey guys, this is Tammy with Imagine Play and with COVID-19, you might have seen that we have changing a lot of stuff in our play space to kind of fit a new bottle in anticipation that it might be around for a little while and we are changing kind of our business model to kind of meet the demands and the needs of what parents are needing right now for the stay at home orders and the shutdowns. So obviously we can't be open in the capacity that we once was. So we are kind of pivoting and doing some sort of other things that you probably don't know about. So I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about that. You probably have seen that we've launched this thing called a toy library, but you don't really know much about it. So I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit more about our toy library. So obviously you know since we own a play space we have tons and tons of toys and we have collected a lot of toys over the years as well but we've actually added a lot of new toys to our toy library as well what is a toy library you ask a toy library is an area where you can come and check out toys and we have tons of different types of toys we actually have pretend play toys which is something that you're used to us having because we are called imagine play but we are adding a lot of toys to our toy library that is actually kind of more of learning toys which would really help you parents at home right now that are trying to homeschool your kids or just trying to find a resource to help your kids learn those type of things while they are at home and now I know that distance learning is coming up in the near future here a lot of you guys are anticipating that and a lot of you guys are probably very nervous about that like me um, so this could be a really great resource for you parents out there that are distance learning or that are looking to homeschooling their kids here in the fall um, because we are adding a lot of toys to our toy library we even have a lot of toys right now that can really assist you in those type of curriculums in the fall so let me talk to you guys a little bit about what we do have and how it works okay so you'll see in our toy library we do have a lot of pretend play stuff so you'll see pretend play as far as food is concerned as far as like cars and little things like that but we also have things like this which is basically um like dolls that have disney characters and we also have like play sets that are superheroes and stuff like that okay you also see that we have kind of musical toys which is like things like this where it teaches them music but also fun this is actually a, a frog game so they click the little frog and then it follows the frog around and then they have to tap it so good hand eye coordination type of stuff and we have of course little people stuff uh pretend play food cunning fruit so things that you're normally used to pots and pans things like that we have ball pits we have building toys tons and tons of building toys so if your kid likes to build then we have tons of resources for them for building toys as well uh, we have toolkits that have building things like this one right here um, which is a toolkit with stuff that they can build. Uh, we also have marble runs. We also have these take apart toys. We have a, quite a few of these ones where they take it apart, put it together, it has a little drill. So lots of things like that. Um, also, you can see behind me, we also have these mega blocks from Lakeshore Learning as well. Okay, and let me show you some of the toys that you could be using as a learning resource at home. So obviously there are pretend play toys, there are tons of toys that the kids can keep the kids busy or interactive and also something kind of new and exciting for them. But what if you're looking for just kind of something for maybe a first grader or a second grader to kind of teach them math, teach them science or teach them sight words. This is a great resource for you because we have tons of things in our library already for those items to learning colors and sorting big versus small things like this things like this which is kind of like a math activity a measuring activity for them we have items like this which is basically math problems um, using building brick it's a problem solving building set that they use these cards to do um, less than equal to or greater than using building bricks as well so we have quite a few sets of these that are different types of math problems subtraction addition things like that okay. um, we have stuff that helps them with sight words I think we bought a few of these kits to help with sight words too so it's just learning sight words and building the sight words out so that way they can sound out the letters and stuff like that so if your kid is learning sight words and you need help with that or you need just something in addition to what you're doing at home this is great for them to do that Okay. We also have some coding toys that the kids are learning, wanting to learn how to code as well. 
And if you're looking for science things, we also have things where they can learn like a little bit about science. So we have tons of different learning toys. And the more and more rentals we get from the toy library, obviously the more and more we're adding on as well. So that's just kind of a few examples of the things that we do have in the toy library. If you're looking for something just to kind of add on or supplement to your learning at home. We are a vendor with Inspire and I think I have to change some of the things in Inspire to show Inspire that we're doing this new program for the toy library as well. Um, but obviously if you're kind of have a littler one that maybe is not at school age yet and you're looking for more of just something to entertain them at home we have tons of resources for that you can see behind me we have mag formers like a big truck of mag formers we have magnetic cars um we have oh grab and go math game which is like basically an addition game for kids so just quite a few examples of all the things that we have obviously we added some stuff to our toy library some stuff we already had um so this is stuff that it's something you can kind of come check out for yourself and just kind of see what you can add. So let's talk a little bit about the logistics of the toy library. We have three types of memberships. All the memberships have different rentals that go along with it. One toy a week, two toys a week, or three toys a week. Our premium one actually has the premium toys, which is basically toys that are over $60, which is like the ball pit or like a lemonade stand, like furniture items that are really big and bulky. You probably wouldn't buy for yourself, but you might rent uh, just because it's a kind of a high ticket item. Basically what you wanna do is just sign up for whatever package works for you. So for a low monthly fee, you can have access to our toy library and be able to rent a, a toy once a week. Send you an email when the rental is over and then you can come and drop it off. You can actually reserve your items a couple of different ways. We have a website where you can kind of look at the catalog. Some of the toys that are in here are not on the catalog yet because it takes us a while to update the catalog, but most of the toys are on there. So you can take a look at the catalog. If you see something you like, you can always just um, send us an email with a toy request and that way we have it available for you when you want to pick it up. Or you can just kind of come in uh, whenever you're ready to drop off your toys and then just pick the toys from the toy library. It's easy for you to see them visually as well. All you have to do is uh, sign up via our website. The membership basically starts the day of the toy rental. Um, and then we usually take a, a agreement for the toy rental and then have a credit card and ID on file so that way we can take the monthly payment, okay? Um, so basically it's really that easy. It's a great learning resource for you guys. If you are interested in learning about the toy library, you can go on our website and just click on toy library and I'll kind of give you all the information that I've given you over the video. Or if you just want to give us a phone call or an email and ask us a few more questions about it, we'll be happy to answer those questions. Hopefully this will be something that your family can use. I know that with the upcoming year, it's kind of ambiguous about what is going to happen and we're all nervous about it. And people that have maybe not homeschooled before are probably nervous about it as well. Um, so I really think that this can be a great place or a great area to really help elevate that family experience at home. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye.